Well, hello there, you two. And welcome to Thursday the 28th of April. It's kind of a foggy 43 degree morning. Usually when there's fog, that's a good sign. It could, uh, could end up being nice. I'd be all about that. Old Kai Kai out there meandering in the field. Just jets flying over and morning doves cooing and carrying on out there doing their morning sounds. <laughs> but welcome to Thursday. So far, so good. It's funny how often we see the trains going back and forth to work. And if they're right here, you'll see them going through where we live up north. So where are you on the weekends? They're trainy train trains. Or I just got bad timing lately. <laughs> Man, that thing was long. We're just now, all the way in Woodland here, catching up to the locomotives. That was nuts. Mama, for the first time in a while, made it all the way to work without a single drop. I know it. Never even had I'll to hit that it. windshield button. <laughs> Very good. No whoppers. And it was peaceful. There was no crazy people. It was just a nice, mm. smooth drive. I know. You gotta have those every once in a while just so you know what normal's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Well, Mama, it's Thursday. Yes. It's going there. More days and we're good. Get her done, get another weekend started. All right. Hopefully, the weather will be nice this weekend. I think one day is supposed to. Ah, cool. All right. All right. Have yourself an awesome day. You too, sweetheart. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. Another 2010 Spider. He's in for just a battery. So all we had was, uh, I guess we're out of the UASAs again. We can get the ones that we have to service. It's not quite as convenient. And what scares me is people don't know how to do these correctly. It takes about an hour before I can even put it on the charger. You gotta let these things set. It's a glass mat, they refer to it. So it's this tightly woven fiberglass type of thing that's inside there. It takes a long time for all that fluid to soak in. Then you get the yahoos that come along and poke a hole in there, and no wonder why acid's all over. Now you gotta throw the battery away because it's an exact amount that has to go in there. And when you use a UASA, they do bleed by themselves. I know some of the aftermarket ones, they even give you a stick pin. So if, you're, if your battery comes with stick pins to relieve the bottle, um, take it back to the dealer. Get a Yuasa. Don't mess around with this stuff. You're going to pay more. Anyway, I was going to... Now that it's almost over and I talked to it, it was making all that gurgly, bubbly thing. So, oh, the gentleman called. Not going to do it. Yeah, it was... But still, I'm not going to talk numbers. It was not worth... And he agrees he's not going to do it. So, I don't know. We'll sort all that out. But, the biggest news of the day... I got a box from BRP. I knew about one item, but there's all kinds of other stuff in here. Well, I don't know if that's clean. Let me dig this stuff out, and I'll show you here in a second. Nice. All right. Can am. Yeah. yeah. So I'm looking at the picking ticket. I can't show you that for obvious reasons. But I'll, I'll show you. There's supposed to be four items. A nice Can-Am rain suit. Have you ever used... You guys remember when we went to Yellowstone? And that Can-Am rain jacket that I had was absolutely a lifesaver. But <laughs> we, we go in June. We are expecting to go take a summer bike trip. And um, ended up in snow and lightning and pouring down rain and everything else. Icy roads, black ice, it was crazy. But, uh, yeah, that, I still, that's in my gear for taking on trips, is that BRP jacket. But this is a whole rain suit. It's just going to be a rain suit, so I'll just leave it in the bag. This is long sleeve. It looks like a thermo. So it'll be a base layer type of thing. Oh, that's way too small for, for the glasses I'm wearing. But look at this. This is their new bomber jacket. Oh, look at that thing. Yeah, buddy. I, this, I knew this was coming. The rest of it, I didn't. Can-Am all over. 
over it. The owner was down here and he's going, what's that? Because I walked out with the last thing that I'm about to show you. He goes, what the heck you got there? I go, a bunch of cool stuff. So now we just need some sp some spiders. So I'm not really supposed to ride my Harleys and stuff like that wearing Can-Am stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's nice. Really nice. I guess there's a green version too. That's if I wanted the green or the black. I'm, I'm kind of a black guy. But the one last thing I go, Jeannie. You guys met Jeannie, the little fiery redhead. <laughs> She's our shipping and receiving gal. I said, there should be another box. Yeah, there was. Check it out. A wood engraved topped Can-Am stool. Metal. Look at that thing. She goes, her husband's a big car buff and stuff. He goes, oh my Lord, my husband would literally kill you over that stool. I said, well, I'm sorry. That's about the only way he's going to get it. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Holy moly. Jonathan and all the guys and gals at BRP that's doing all this stuff. Thank you very, very much. That's incredible. That's some cool stuff right there. I'm gonna try this jacket on here right now. I need a, I made a cup of coffee and never got a cup. So uh, I'm gonna go do that. Guys, come here, you gotta see this. Kelly okay. goes, I'm busy with a customer. I said, the heck with that customer. Oh, you got your jacket back. Yeah. Oh, wait, get my eyeballs back on, I got rain on. That's nice. Ooh. That it looks like a me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably be too warm you'll be wearing it anyway, right? Yeah. A thermal oh. long sleeve. Rain suits, you know how good their rain yeah. suit stuff is. But oh, you literally so almost fun. tripped over one little add on thing that's cool as heck. What? Woman, you do need to get Ooh. your eyes. You gonna give it to me? That you. It is fits my high knee good. sick, cool. Yeah, that's way cool. Holy crap, that's awesome. Yeah, and it's all metal. Oh, sweet. And nice wood. Oh, yeah, let's nice. put something over it just so I can, if you use it out in the shop, you get your, that, that, yeah. that'll probably be an inside stool. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's pretty yeah. cool, huh? Oh, that is so cool. And that's all your good. Things. I know, that's nice stuff. That is very nice stuff. John was down here looking at, he seen me walking out with the stool. And uh, I said, it's all for the spiders that, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to, this is going to be enough to don't even be a demo this year. But that's really cool. Yeah. Awesome. I guess uh, if I go see them in Dallas, they'll, they'll hook me up with a spider. So we may have to take a trip to Dallas just so I we know, can. Oh, Take a quick vacation on a spider. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All righty. That's cool. Oh, man. Should have filmed it while I had it out. A uh, 2021 Riker Rally comes in with a limp mode. And uh, he's got that shifter on there. I've seen quite a few of those now. And if I can show you where it's at without blinding you. But the yaw rate sensor has failed on it. He lives just right down the street, just gonna take it home. If you can, Let's see if I can get the light in there just right. That's it right there, sitting on that plate. You know, it's part of the framework work underneath there, but that's the yaw rate sensor. So he's just gonna ride it home in limp mode and uh, he rode it here gonna ride it back i'm just buttoning it back up i didn't want to leave those couplers off and the system sees the yaw rate sensor but it's not getting any info from it so he goes well just don't put it back on i'll just no, no we can't do that one and you know it's underneath there if debris got in that coupler that would create another problem so i bolted the bad one back in he's gonna take it home and come back when the part comes in go cool. right a rally hot oh mighty check it out an original 2010 RT. Shock is bad in it. <laughs> Check out the uh, 
what's on the lefty left side. If you're ever going to get one of these old gals, oh, you got to wait for these things. If you're ever going to get one, make sure she is an Emanuel transmission. You know what's funny about these manual transmissions? The, uh, you very seldom have to put a water pump in them. So what's the, what's going on with that? I mean, it's all the same setup. The SE5s, you always put in water pumps in these things. And it's not the water pump part of it. It is, in a way, but it's the, uh, it's the oil seal that fails. They just cut. Ooh! Boy, does this thing need an alignment? No. Oh, holy moly! Man, I ain't ridden one like this. Whoa! I ain't ridden one of these like with the alignment off in a while. Oh, he doesn't even know what he's missing. I would imagine seeing a what just under 16,000 miles that uh, he's probably brand new well, yeah that thing's all over the place it's probably brand new to this thing yeah I'm glad I still have the RO down there <laughs> I'll, I'll make a note about the alignment am I going to make it is the runners done running but uh ooh, there's rain all around me out here I'm allowed to get wet but anyway, yeah, the manual transmissions, you don't have to worry about the centrifugal clutch. None of them rules about you got to be over 4,000 RPMs and all that jazz. You just, you should kind of keep the RPMs as high too because the uh, EVAP system doesn't work until, I don't know, somewhere around three or something. Don't, don't, short, don't short shift them, but you're not going to damage the clutch. You can ride them however, you're not going to damage the clutch. <laughs> yeah, that rear end, she's kind of springy. She has no damping, it's just, you're just riding on a spring and whatever the airbag is, but the airbag is no suspension, it just makes the springy worse. Look at that bad ride. Yeah, man. Wow, he just does had no idea how nice of a ride he would have if that alignment was straight. She's all kinds of nervous. That's what you notice is they just feel really super twitchy and nervous. <laughs> she had walk along with her headphones on. Man, she's got that dog with her, but you guys ever hear of transitional spaces? Yeah. Don't be wandering around and not be able to hear what's around you. But anyway, she's got that dog with her. But she know whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't think he's going to see me. I was ready to bind down on her. We're about to do a full-fledged brake test. Yeah, I think I'm about to get wet starting to feel more sprinkles I lubed his linkage for his uh, uh, shift lever it's on a pivot and then it's got kind of a heim joint kind of a thing with you know like tie rod in kind of balls on the end and uh, they, they was all I had the battery was so dead in this thing even one of them fancy, I got one of them like paid way too much little jump pack things. I mean, it's small enough you can stick in your pocket, but the power of this thing is phenomenal. Noco or something like that they're called. That's about the only thing that'll start a spattery. Spattery? A spider with a dead battery. That's the southern in me. I'm just trying to, you know, say things without, you know, use you know, the minimum amount of words. <laughs> But, uh, oh yeah, it's been raining over here. Anyway, that thing, it wouldn't even arm itself because if it doesn't see a certain amount of voltage, it won't try to jump. So, uh, there's a little button you can kind of, it'll send a little voltage and try to trick it. It'll put it in a mode that it'll, it'll jump start it. Nope. 
So I took one of those deep cycle marine batteries that we use as jump batteries for uh, for things, you know, around the shop. They're on a little dolly. Um, put that thing on there and I just didn't get a good enough connection or something. That I couldn't get the, the jumper to work there either. It, it, it booted it on. Actually, the jumper actually booted it on. But, yeah. It wasn't working. So I pushed it. So, you know, you have a manual transmission, I can stick it in gear. You know, if it's an SE5, you, you can put it in gear if you want, if you reach underneath there and click it. But if the centrifugal clutch isn't grabbing, it's just going to free roll. You'll feel a little resistance if you start to roll one. You know, it doesn't have the park brake on, you just roll it. You'll feel extra resistance because it is spinning the plates. But yeah, they'll absolutely roll away. But this one being a manual, I can click it in gear. So I had enough power in the the booster and stuff to uh, turn the park brake off, and I clicked it into gear. You know, <clears throat> so I got around to I'm on the brake side of the bike, and anyway, I'm manipulating the thing around. When I was done, I'm trying to click the thing in the neutral, and all, gonna, all I can hear is that shift lever squeaking. <laughs> well, it wouldn't even go in the neutral; it's binding. So I got underneath there and lubed everything up. He's, he's going to notice that the bird chirping on the left-hand side down by his left foot ain't chirping no more. That's because I lubed his shift linkages. Dang, that can be a long light. <laughs> See how this thing runs like a top. So they're needing a, a rear shock, a rear tire, and a, a laser alignment. Laser alignment ain't going to keep him from riding it, but it's going to keep from eating the front tires off of this thing and such a pleasurable experience to ride a, a spider that's laser aligned that's our that's our UP guy Upis. so I'm just going to land this thing inside and I'll make a note about the alignment there. I made all my other notes. And um, we'll go from there. Well, hello there, YouTube. Good Lord, we got home and it flat cut loose out here. It was a dumping. Yeah, it was like a winter storm going on out here. Sasha got, <laughs> got in just in time. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Kelly just came out to do something with the horses, and it just cut loose, and all of a sudden the girls are inside. Like, dang. And then I hear it pounding. But it's actually kind of nice out there now. It's a lot Left better. Behind us, yeah. But anyway, that's kind of cool, all the, oh, yeah, all the cool Can-Am stuff today. Very cool. Very nice. That's some wicked stuff. You guys yes. are awesome. <laughs> they are a nice company. But uh, anyway, we got a little spider ride in today. That was unexpected. Very good. Yeah, that was nice. So I don't know what the guy, I, I think they talked to him about a shock and you know, getting that alignment on that thing. That'd make that spider perfect. Good old five speed manual. That was a cool. But I think on that, we're going to bounce. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hope you have a wonderful Friday or Saturday. Like, yeah, it's quite cool out here. It is. They it's kind of chilly. Put a coat on to come out here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys on Friday morning. We'll see you in the morning. Uh, dang. All right, bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.